I still have feelings. I've, I still care deeply about her mm -hmm. and just want to see her do the best that she can, mm -hmm. whether it's with or without me. Okay. Well, it won't be with me, but. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted you to know What did you do? I did everything Like what? I had sex with other girls, I did everything How many times did you cheat on me? I, 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 I don't know If you had to say I wasn't counting. You may or you may have not seen Hurt Bay fluttered across your screens. Mm. Instagram, YouTube, I don't know. Where where was it published? This guy's everywhere, man. He's, he's all over the place. I don't know how I feel about him. Fawcett, Cosmo, People Magazine. This guy is everywhere, man. I, I don't know how we feel about him. Seems like a... Kind of like a slimy dude. Slimy, slimy dude, right? Yeah. Why don't we get to the bottom of this today? Yeah, let's figure it out. Herpes uh, cheating scoundrel Leonard has agreed to come to the office today. Okay, for a one on one, is it an honest interview? I don't know. Are we going to be honest? We shall see. We got to get We're gonna nothing be but the see. truth. Yep. Let's mm -hmm. hope so. All right, bring him in. All right, man. Let's bring this guy in. Leonard! There was Brenda, Letitia, Linda, Felicia, Dawn, LaShawn, Inez, and Alicia, Teresa, Monica, Sharon. How we doing, buddy? We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. All right. I gotta be honest. I really like her, Bay. She's she's just like the cutest little girl. How did you, you were so mean to her? I'm a little upset with everything that went on, but I want to hear your side of the story. I know there's two sides. How do you feel about all this? Um, I I want to hear the truth. I want to tell the truth. All right. So do you promise to tell the truth? Nothing but the truth. So help you God. I do. Okay, great. Let's honest get into bay. it, then. Let's get into it. it. Honest Bay for the remaining part right. of the interview. All right. First question. Honest Bay. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Honest Bay. Honest, honest, honest Bay. All right. You, you got to tell the truth. Token that. I want to know how this all came about. How'd you get into this? How'd you end up in front of her? Um, who proposed this idea? What website? You know, tell us all that backstory. Mm -hmm. So it came about. It was her idea. Um, she sent me a message saying that she had signed us up for a casting where they were looking for exes to talk to each other about their relationship that had ended with cheating. But was, specifically cheating? That's what they wanted? That's what they wanted. Okay. Um, I didn't think it was a good idea, but I consented Definitely. and uh, I thought it would be a good chance to tell her the truth and give our, ourselves closure on a relationship that had ended years before. I can't believe you agreed to that. So you agreed to go on television or whatever show it was to admit that you cheated on her. Well, I have to live with that every day. And to do that publicly... Okay, so here's the funny thing about it. So it, it dropped on Valentine's Day. Perfect timing. Oh, wow. What That's is that? Four days ago? Time. Five days ago. Perfect timing for a shitstorm. Yeah. Mm. And uh, I didn't... I wasn't notified it came out until the next day. So... And at that point, was it... The, the way it I found out? out was actually my mom called me and asked me... No way. Oh, no. What is this? Really? Was she this? mad? My mom was upset, yes. It didn't portray the, the son that she raised. Right. It didn't portray that, and I'm better than that. So your mom uh, called you up. She was mad. And then at that point, like, was it, was it viral? Or was it still, like, how'd it she was, find out? It was, it was viral. Yes. Everyone I've ever known in life sent me a text and uh, let me know what they, mm -hmm. what they thought. I had people calling me a shitbag, wanting, wishing death upon me for, wow. for cheating. When I had, I know, you know, people make mistakes, we're all human, but we, what we can do is we can grow from our mistakes and not make them again. Did she know at the time that you were cheating or you were hooking up and seeing other people? Yeah. Say what? She knew. She goes through my phone. She would always go through my phone. Or my computer. Yeah, or... I didn't trust you. Wow. And, and she you... knew what my, the girls I was f ate for breakfast. <laughs> I have I have texts to like I t I told her like I'm just trying to do my own thing. All right, let's talk about it. So so honest, Ben. Mm -hmm. I want to know more about the relationship. Me too. We're in college. Um, Freshman, sophomore. 
So Sophomore year, okay. um, we had a class together. Ironically enough, it was drama class. Okay. Uh, nice. <laughs> so she didn't like me, and um, I didn't do very well in that class. So we ended up moving into the same apartment complex, and um, she lived directly upstairs from me. We moved into like the same apartment complex. And uh, we just started to hang out every day, and we, we did fun shit. So you guys were together? <laughs> we were together, yes. Hmm. And then she knew that you were cheating on her? I told her that I wanted to do my own thing because it wasn't really working for me. But she still lives upstairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you, you guys obviously are bumping into each other often. That probably, uh... Often is an understatement. Okay. <laughs> and when she I could not up escape at your door. this bitch. It's just, she wouldn't let me leave. One time I went to his room and he had someone else in his room and he told me to leave. Do you have a girlfriend? I mean, yeah, I'm married. Okay, if you told your wife to go away when you had another girl in the room, how would that work out for you? That would work out pretty badly. <laughs> yeah, well, be good. Would she just go away? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think she would barge in there and kick my ass. Mm. Right, so reasonably. Did, so did she go home and cry, or did she come and try to kick your ass? I went back to my room, and I just cried, like, the whole night. Why would she kick my ass if she we didn't. weren't together? That adds up. So you're so, saying right. the reason that she went, the fact that she went home and cried means that you guys were in a serious relationship, because she would have come and kick your ass if it and was. And she would deserve to do that. Right, and I agree. That I agree. math adds All up. Right. Okay. Okay. I think everyone wants to know, how many times did you cheat on her, now that you got to think about it? Okay. You guys are fucked up, man. <laughs> How many times was it? No comment. I plead the fifth! One, two, three, four, fifth! Fifth! You'll okay. never know. No, what is considered cheating? Think of the whole time you cheated. <laughs> are you a bad guy? I was, at times, a bad guy, and I, I'm not discounting the pain that I caused Courtney or saying that I can take my actions back, but I'm grown from that and I'm, I'm on to bigger and better things. You feel like you're a changed man since then. And when was this, the, the actions that took place in the video that you were talking about? Well, that, that, the things that took place in the video happened three years ago. Oh, wow. So. I didn't know that, okay. So, uh, you, that so, you, like, so you, got, uh, you got some time to change. I got some time to really think about everything and um, own up to what I did except the fact that I hurt her, and I can't, I can't change that, but I could make sure that it doesn't happen again. Okay. Do you think you can be in a monogamous relationship right now? If I wanna be. What if Tyra Banks walks in here, butt naked, and you have a girlfriend? I'ma call my girlfriend. <laughs> hey baby, Tyra here. Tyra here. <laughs> I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> so you, yeah, I thought you were gonna ask her if it was cool, but you're just gonna do it. Tower Banks, though. <laughs> Tower Banks, though. Let's be honest here. We're He's being, being honest. honest. Being honest, at least. Being, being honest. honest being this honest. guy. Did you love her? Ooh, damn. I did. I did. But you loved her. Well, I'm coming to realize that I'm not sure I know what love is. But it sounded like you guys had clear communication. Like you told her I want to see other people, and she was. Kind of cool with it? Not really? I mean... <laughs> In the last couple of days, she got 130,000 followers on Instagram. So she's benefiting from them. I'm sure she's, yeah. she's, and, she's and I'm, liking this. I'm proud of her. I hope that she gets all that she can out of this and we'll move forward with our lives. So you guys are gonna do more media like Steve Harvey this week. Uh, is there more to the story that you're not saying here? There's definitely more to the story, but... Mm, really? I, I am accountable for my actions, and I'd like her to be too. Okay, so was she always faithful? It sounds like she made it up. That's not, no that's not my, I can't, I don't, that's not my, I'm not, I don't want to Okay, so there's, I there's did some what more I meat did. to this story. All right, I did what I did. He's not saying that she did, but he's not saying that she didn't. All right, well, Fact. we'll let the story develop. In that final scene, when she said, I forgave you. Why? Because you're my best friend. 
Did, did you get a little emotional or were you just like stone cold? I got a million trillion things I'd rather fucking do. I was definitely emotional. I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck, I don't, I don't. Just because it wasn't written all over my face. Right. Doesn't doesn't mean that I didn't feel some type of way. It just that's the way that I process the moment. Well, a lot of people they hate you on social right now. I mean, people are talking a lot of shit on you. Let's check out some of these Twitter comments. I heard Joe Budden said something to you. What do you say? Yeah, check this. He said. Can you read it out loud for us? Got a curly mohawk Caesar Afro fade, and you hoes thought he made sound decisions. <laughs> he must be trying to pump 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 up his career. <laughs> Well, let's let's read some of the some of the things that people are saying about me. I'm gonna read the tweets. Ines Anik from Facebook says, "You know what they call an asshole without balls? A bitch, and that's what you are now. You're an ugly piece of shit. Look at that hair. He clearly has a mixtape and lies hidden in there. Bitch, look at your hair. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Will you want to talk hair? We could talk hair. I live in D.C. too. Can I suck your?" Let's Is that a guy see. or a girl? Let's see what... Oh, that's a dude. <laughs> Why you cheat on her, you dumb piece of sh... Now you're gonna be alone forever. Good job doing that to yourself, you f***ing dick. Wow. Mm. And that's from Alasia. Burn. And you know what, that's Alasia? Cold. That is cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were ice cold in that interview, man. Ice cold. Ice, ice, baby. Well, if I, if I would've showed regret or sympathy, would they have said that I'm leading her on to think that there's more? Maybe if you I wanted to get fake it. cried or something, that might have worked. He was being blunt. Yeah, being you were being honest, Bay. Sometimes you have to do that to, to... People say they want the truth until they get it. You can't handle the truth! Mm -hmm. Everyone doesn't cry at funerals. It's true. We've seen from what Courtney's doing now that people can move on and people can grow. And people can live their lives. The reason most people are so mad at me is because they've been in a situation they where relate. they can relate. All right, in the video, you said I did everything. This is like a crucial point. I did everything. Like what? I had sex with other girls. I did everything. What does everything mean? I know what regular stuff is, but we're we talking like butt stuff. What is everything? No, I meant what I said. I did everything. It works both ways. It works both ways. What do you mean by that? Well, men do their dirt, and we have to be more responsible. We have to be better at, at um, not getting caught. And, uh, <laughs> and women, women do too, but they're, they happen to be experts at, at not getting caught. Their so trials. you're saying women, women cheat too? You're being too honest. The last five days have been unpredictable, and um, I think this is just the beginning. Of what? Of my side of the story. Mm, Cause this week, this week you're gonna start telling the real story and all the hidden facts that we all know about. Right. Right. From your point of view, how does it feel opening your phone and seeing your face everywhere without your permission? Like, well, how does it feel? Well, right now, I'm a walking, talking, living, breathing meme, and uh, <laughs> it's true. And people won't let me live it down. If you were in a relationship right now, if a girl slid in your DM right now and you were in a serious relationship. Would you answer that text? Would you make? Would you act on that? No, you can't. If you if you're doing something that you know that they wouldn't like, then I feel like that's disrespectful to your relationship. So you don't think you'll ever cheat again? I I feel like you guys will. I don't want to cheat again. I I feel like you guys will never let me cheat again. The world will never let me cheat again. But would you cheat again if no one knew? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right, honest bay. I trust honest you. Bay. You have my word. Honest Bay. If you have one shot to go back and reenact the situation with her in that interview, what, what would you say? I wouldn't, I wouldn't change anything. Damn. Living with regret will have you in a bad place. You have to take accountability for your actions and become a better person. Do you think you fucked mm. up though? I said in the he video admitted that it. I fucked he, up. He admitted it. He, 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 I think he's got a point. And I was, I was man enough to tell the whole world that I fucked up. You gotta give him credit. He did seem like a little bit of a dick, Elliot, but at the same time, he went on no, camera. I, I agree. He went on camera and admitted the truth. A lot of things a lot of guys would never, ever, ever, ever yeah. say. You gotta give props to that for yeah. sure. Yeah, so, uh, uh, 
and it happened a couple years ago, so I didn't know that. I didn't know a lot of the other information. You seem like you're sorry. You've been very honest, Bay. Um, so, Elliot, what's your opinion now? After no, I, I commend you for coming up here and doing this, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think you're as bad as people make you have to be. Um, hey guys, I'm, I'm 23 years old, and I'm, I'm young. I'm a young man trying to navigate the world, and I'm, I'm gonna make mistakes. And I'm gonna learn from those mistakes and, and live my life better, hold myself to a higher standard. All right, Honest Bay. I really appreciate you stopping by. No, I appreciate by. you guys. You did good, man. Yeah. I appreciate you guys for just listening. Mm -hmm. I know I'm the most hated man in America right now, but I promise that I'm not that same guy. You changed? Right. You've changed? I've changed. I, th I mean, I, I believe you. I believe you. You swore on the book. Seems and like a genuine dude. Mm -hmm. Changed my opinion about I, you. I, I, would, I would never want to put someone through that again. Well, you heard it here first. Honest Bay's first official interview. Thanks for coming by, man. Appreciate right, it, brother. I, I, I appreciate, appreciate it, man. Alright, man. Alright. I mean, I mean, famous. I made that bitch famous to know. Woo! Swiss told me let the beat rock. There's still some flavor left in that, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah.